Oh, Star Wars Outlaws, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, controversy continues. This game is unequivocally dead on arrival. Absolutely. And now they're describing the sort of lead playable character as uh, a modern protagonist, which is... Yeah. Not good. Not good. So hit subscribe if you're new here, folks. Turn the bell notifications on. And please do follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Reviews. Also, I don't say it enough, but I do have merch. Shop down below in the description box to mrhshop.com. Grab some really cool merchandise. Anyway, Star Wars Outlaws. Creative director Julian Ger Geraghty explains why he describes K. Vess as a much more modern protagonist. I mean, you, you can just... Ugh. Ugh. Really? Ugh. It's just going to be me going, ugh, the whole time. Anyway, start... As if they didn't have enough problems, ladies and gents. As if they didn't have enough problems. As if they didn't release the story trailer, which had a trailer for the story which was showing Jabba the Hutt side mission, which you can't even get unless you pay for. I mean, what are you doing? Ugh. Anyway. Star Wars Outlaws creative director Julian Geraghty shared why he describes the game's protagonist, K. Vess, as a much more modern protagonist. And no, uh, it's not the fact that uh, she has a penis. Uh, joke, psych, obviously not, but might as well be by the looks of it. Speaking with Game uh, Informer, Geraghty first shared his assertion, I think she's much more modern protagonist than we usually see in games. Really? She's like everything else that we've seen in games now for like the last five to ten years. What are you doing? What do you mean much more? How? She's somebody who is very much a street thief who gets... Ah, uh, here we go. Who gets thrown into things that are beyond her control. So, so guys, she's a likeable villain. That's it. It's, it's, it's not her fault she's a villain. It's not her fault she's a thief. Of course. Uh, and that she kind of has to think her way out of. And that makes it a little bit more relatable than somebody who has all the confidence and sarcasm and just comes off as somebody who's not believable. Is that a dig at Han Solo? I think it is, isn't it? That's a dig at Han Solo. Hmm. Mam Solo here. Better than Han Solo. So having her be relatable in that way was something extremely important for us. My God, look at it! Ugh. Look at it. So Garrity previously told Edge magazine via Games Radar that his team intentionally tried to make the character more relatable by having her be a rookie. He explained that the team wanted her to be a little bit more relatable so they made her more of a rookie, a petty thief, who ends up in a situation that's much bigger than they ever expected. Uh, game director Matthias Carlson also claimed Vess is relatable because she's not a Jedi. We just we need everything to be relatable in this day and age, ladies and gents. Everything has to be relatable. We can't not have relatable things. Cool. I think it's very important. I think it's very relatable as a human being on planet Earth that this character doesn't have any magical powers or properties beyond her daring, her skills, her tools, and her buddy Nyx. Yeah, because I've got an alien buddy called Nyx as well. The personality type is also perfectly suited for going on swashbuckling and swashbuckling adventure. I think that's something I really resonated with thinking about this character in terms of building a game and gameplay around it. I, I, this is absolutely a dig at Han Solo. I stand behind that. Somebody who has the confidence and sarcasm just comes off as somebody who is not believable. Confidence and sarcasm. This is 100% a dig at Han Solo. Absolutely. And this nonsense, this absolute nonsense of, well, you know, she can't have any magical powers. She's not allowed to be a Jedi anymore. Why are you not allowed to be a Jedi? What, do you not understand what made Star Wars so appealing? Why does everything have to be realistic, relatable? Why? She's flying through space for piss sake. Like, I don't have a spaceship in my garden. 
absolutely absurd. So the game's associate art director, Martha Jonkers, also confirmed the company. I mean, Ubisoft, you really have fucked up it. Anyway, uh, company and its employees spent a significant amount of time designing the character, especially her look. What did you do? Give it to a child and go draw a man? Uh, we put a lot of care into her design. Press X the doubt. And what she's wearing. And how she looks to tell her story. Uh, she has a lot of elements in her design that tell a bit of her story. For example, she has a broken nose. I could never... T I mean... Why'd you give her a broken nose? What's the purpose of a broken nose? Uh, she's been through a lot. And you can see that she has scars and stuff. She also has a hairpin. That's right, ladies and gents. Galaxy far, far away, we've got to have hairpins because apparently you can still use them to lockpick doors and use that from the beginning to do some thieving. Absolute nonsense. This is what she actually looks like. This is what the actress actually looks like. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Total video game character assassination by feminist developers, Star Wars Outlaws 2024. They're taking all the beautiful models and turning them into chestless Karens. No lie detected. No lie detected. Why would you do that? This is what she looks like. Like, what are you doing? You don't think men are going to want to play that? She can't be happy with that either. Look at it. I'd be pissed. Unless randomly the model is going to turn around and be like, oh, I'm actually trans now. And then that's what they're going to do or some shit. I don't bloody know. This is absolutely absurd nonsense. Look at this. Look at it. And always the chin. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. That's hilarious. Um... Is she the model the devs base their character from? If so, they effed up. She's hot. Yes, it's and her name. Yes, it is, and her name is Humberly Gonzalez. I don't know why you're surprised. They've been applying this technique for over five years and more. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Modern protagonist. I can't wait to not play this because why would I do that? That's insane. This game will be garbage, um, and you've got to pay through the arse just to. Look at the story that they show in the story trailer, which is so egregious. I can't believe that they did that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.